Hi, my name is Jean Bishop, and I'm here to talk about the Peace Corps. One person's actions can change the world. Volunteering to a greater cause can move mountains, from picking up the pieces from a disaster to letting people start completely all over with their lives. These volunteers are selfless and are rewarded with knowledge and the power to save lives, not just to give lives, but to save them. This is an all-American group of volunteers who work for the betterment of the world. This is what they do. They send out Americans to take care of world problems. They seek out to save lives, and they learn new knowledge from their missions, not just of culture, but the way of living for everybody. They promote peace and friendship by achieving three goals. Help interested countries to meet their need for trained men and women, make a better understanding of Americans on the people who served, and help with better misunderstanding of people on the Americans. They're currently launching an Ebola relay fund for the treacherous problem of Ebola that is now spreading to the U.S. All the con contributions go to the cause. They're also setting up a next step travel program for people who'd like to travel the world and also help to save lives. They offer a variety of environmental programs like protected areas management, environmental education or awareness, and in forestry. In 2011, they helped with the malaria outbreak. Here's about the history. They first established on March 1st of 1961. The program was established by executive order. John F. Kennedy was the one who first issued it. It started after World War II, and it began as a counter for the stereotypes as ugly American or Americans being selfish. Where are we at now? There are over 215,000 people who have volunteered to get training. 37% are male and 63% are female. 93% are single and only 7% are married. The average age is 28.7. 139 countries have been helped. There are currently volunteering in 68 countries. Last year, we sent out some to help in the Philippines with the ginormous typhoon that they're having and help there, but most of them are in Africa. And here's some happy little children who have been helped by the Peace Corps. Most people serve in Africa, but they're also serving in Latin America, Europe, Central Asia, Asia, the Caribbean, North Africa, Middle East, and the Pacific Islands. Obama has appointed the last two directors. We're on our 19th director of the Peace Corps. The current director is Carrie hessler Radelet, but she is no longer a volunteer. The toll free recruit number is 855-855-1961. You can also donate and just receive small gifts back from donating certain amounts. Any kind of donation or anything can help to a, this greater cause. In conclusion, the Peace Corps are for making the world a better place, one country at a time. They have been an organization for 53 years, and I would love for that number to keep growing, as well as the volunteer ratings. They only want more friendship and peace between mankind. Me, personally, I think the Peace Corps is a great opportunity to not just help people, but you also get to travel the world and see new areas that you wouldn't have ever expected to see in your lifetime. We should learn more from the Peace Corps' good actions and grow as a peaceful society. We should test our limits in power and change for the better, one step at a time. We Americans should rise above the other countries because we have the resources to and fight for change. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, we must have the peace, we must see that peace represents a sweeter music, a cosmic melody that is far superior to the discord of war. And my sources where I got my information was the peacecorps.gov, which are, is for the members of the Peace Corps, peacecorpsconnect.org, which is for the National Peace Corps Association, and Wikipedia. And I got this image from gonoman.com. Thank you.